hey, 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 it's your girl Yolanda over here at Forever Londa and welcome and or welcome back to the channel. Over here we do all things planning, lifestyle, DIY home decor, and sometimes we get in the kitchen and we do a little cooking. So today we're going to actually create a planner and I'm using this coach notebook cover. If that sounds like something you want to see, I say go ahead and stick around. I purchased this coach notebook cover for my daughter for Christmas and, and if you've been watching any of my videos or um, you know caught up on my planning you'll know that I actually have a cover very similar however mine ha has the floral motif my daughter um, she loves it however she wants to use this as a planner and not just as um, somewhere to keep notes now the one thing about her is that she's also a disc planner meaning that she likes the ability to be able to add pages take away pages so she didn't want to use a spiral planner um she wanted to use a disc planner so i told her i would look into seeing if i could customize a planner for her um as you all may not know the dimensions of this notebook cover is um, a little off and you don't um, find this planners that would easily fit in this notebook so I'm just gonna go and um, work my magic do some voiceover and let me know at the end if you like what I did with the planner so I removed the spiral notebook from it and I'm taking this covers from the disbound planner that I got from Amazon and I'm cutting it down to size so I'm just eyeballing it right now and just making sure that everything is as straight as possible and I'm going to do this to both sides and you see me here checking it's still a little too big so I'm just gonna take a little bit off of this one side and now it fits and great I'm going to use that as the template to cut the re the uh, the back as well as some additional cardstock that I'm adding to give it a little bit more structure. So I'm using my glue stick to glue all four of these pieces together. This will um, give the, the part that I'm using as an insert some structure and allow it to really um, go into the notebook cover. And so um, I'm using my ruler to kind of press it down and now gluing, you know, <laughs> continuing to glue all of the pieces together. I'm now testing to see if it fits and I see that it's still a little bit um, too tall so I'm going to cut a little bit more off and um, hopefully that was the key. Now I'm using these poly covers that I picked up and I've already linked in the cards above and I'll link in the description box with um, the Amazon haul that I did when I picked up the planner. So I'm just gonna score it. And by scoring it, it breaks apart really quickly. And I'm using these as a cover, as well as a back panel for the planner and removing the paper. To add a little bit more decor, I'm using my daughter's vision board that I actually uh, placed in Canva and uh into a five and a half by eight and a half uh, punch holes in it right now and now i'm going to put it inside the um the planner that we're creating i think this is really cool um i kind of like the black overlay um but i'm going to give her the gray as well i picked up these planner inserts on amazon um, by better notes i'll be sure to link them in the cards um, below and now I'm just going to add the month dividers on here and um, that way it'll make it easier to get to the months. I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and include this year at a glance. It's actually two years at a glance into the planner um, so that she'll have that as well as putting in the months here as I go. Um, this is very soothing to me. I don't know about anyone else. I remove the extra paper and I'm placing in a divider as she did indicate that she wanted to also be able to do financial planning um, as part of her planner. So I have monthly budgets, no spend tracker, as well as a savings goal. And I'm putting those into the planner now. All of these inserts are part of my shop if you want to check those out. I'm starting to realize now that the planner is a little chunky here. So I'm actually going to go and um, think about a little bit more to make sure that it fits. So I placed the um, insert piece that we made earlier into the pocket and then slide it in and making sure it fits. And um, I'm really liking how it looks. Another check and it's like, oh, well, maybe, maybe, yep, it still closes. <laughs> I love a chunky planner. I don't know about anyone else. I'm going to now go ahead and add in a pen holder. I love having um, a place to include a pen. So I'm going to add that in here into the planner and also a pen, I think. And you'll see this as we go. That you're gonna need like a smaller pen and not the pen that I try to include here. No, it's too chunky and it won't close but we'll work it out and um, yeah we're going to work it out Welcome to the other side. This is your girl Yolanda again. As you all can see, I, I took some of the things out of here because it was just too much for this size um, planner. So <clears throat> one of the things that you can do is, um, and I do this actually in my planner, I only keep a couple of months in at a time. So my planner um, typically will only have two to three months in it at a time. That way I don't overstuff it. So that's something that I would recommend to my daughter when I give this to her. So I'm gonna give her like the entire package and everything so she can then um, take out these other months that she doesn't need right now um, and put in the months that she wants. And then that way it will close uh, appropriately. I also put some um, stacker papers back in there. But um, give don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And if you haven't already, go ahead and please do subscribe to the channel um, for more videos like this. Of course, we also do lifestyle videos, DIY home decor, and even some cooking videos. Thank you all so much for joining. And this is just something that you can do um, with the Coach Notebook covers. Um, it looks like they come out with these covers. Uh, probably every other month or so if you're not a coach insider already go ahead and sign up and you'll receive emails when these come up um, they range in price from 22 dollars 
sometimes um, when they're on special um, to $70. So it just um, depends on when you can catch them on sale. Again, this is your girl Yolanda over here at Forever Londa. And we're going to say bye-bye now. See you later.